Now that we've gotten some of the conceptual and philosophical foundation covered, let's start getting our hands dirty and actually testing. In this section, we'll get a copy of Jasmine, investigate the syntax, and write a few tests. In this video, let's discuss Jasmine, download a copy to work with, and look around the directory structure to see how it's organized. Jasmine is the testing framework that we're going to use throughout the course. The framework will help us organize and describe our tests, as well as provide the necessary logic to run our tests. We'll get into the details of how that happens in the next video, but for now, let's download a copy. To download Jasmine, we'll first go to github.com slash jasmine slash jasmine. Then click on the releases link. Now we're presented with a list of releases. I'm going to choose the latest release available now, which is 2.3.4, and we'll download it by clicking the jasmine-standalone-2.3.4.zip link. The download is a zip file, so we'll have to unzip it before we can get any further. Now let's take a look at the Jasmine standalone directory we just unzipped. First, we'll see the lib directory. This is where the code of the framework lives, and we won't have to modify anything in here. Instead, we'll just reference some of the JavaScript files later on. Next, let's take a look at the spec and source folders. Each release of Jasmine comes with some sample code and tests so you can get a feel for how to use it. The sample code is in the source directory, and the sample tests are in the spec directory. We've seen the Jasmine source code and some sample code and tests. specrunner.html is the way we bring it all together. Let's open it up in a browser. This displays what tests we have and the current status of those tests. It happened fast, but when we opened the browser, the sample tests ran and then results were displayed on the screen. If we want to rerun the tests, we simply refresh the browser. Let's look at the HTML itself. There's not a lot here. We're including a few of the files from the lib directory where the source code of the framework lives, and then we're including our sample code, then our sample tests. That's it. As we continue to learn about Jasmine, don't forget that you can use Jasmine documentation to help out along the way. You can find documentation by going to jasmine.github.io and clicking on the version you're using. With Jasmine downloaded, let's look a little further into what the framework gives us and how we'll write and organize our tests in the next video.